Hi everybody, welcome. Wednesday, hump day, middle of the week on the upward slope. My kids always laugh when I say that and I don't know why they're laughing, but they find it funny. It's a good way. Anyway, we are, you'll have to excuse me, I am going to try and pronounce some celebratory names and dishes um, with the Indian culture so please forgive me if I do say it incorrectly but we have looked up a couple of uh, well a drink and a dinner dish for the Diwali celebrations so uh, Ben is going to join me in a minute I've let him take over the whole uh, tea side of things and I will be whipping up a yummy prawn and coconut meat dinner dish called Dab Chingri. Dab Chingri. See, he's so much better at pronouncing words. That's okay. okay. <laughs> Touch his life. So when but, I was, um, yeah, so this is to celebrate Diwali. 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 The, the Festival, Festival of Lights. Lights. Hence is, my candle. Hence the candle. So that's about overcoming, uh, or light overcoming darkness and good overcoming evil and uh, and all the rest so nice. and you'll obviously see I think there's some big um, the Diwali celebrations going on in Auckland and a couple of the team from the Mrs Rogers team have been down there and taken some fantastic photos so if the weather is nice and you can get down there then definitely go down and check it out now we were talking before um, with my trip recent trip to India to the spice markets uh, what was what was fun and one of the cool things was uh, when I was waiting in the line at 5 30 in the morning to go to the Taj Mahal, they came round and gave us fresh masala tea. Now, it was nice, but it was heavily sugared. It's like when you uh, used to go to a factory and someone would say, you want a tea uh, or a coffee? And they'd put 17 teaspoons of, uh, of sugar into the coffee. It was yeah, horrible. To mask the flavor. To mask the flavor, yeah. exactly right. So, hey, it was good. It was, it was lovely. They were giving it away. Um, but what I thought is that I could make uh, a quick masala tea so you don't have to buy it from the supermarket. You can actually use the herbs and spices that Mrs. Rogers have uh, and make it yourself. So I'm going to do that. Yes, and then sure. while, uh, while I'm doing it or finishing it off, then you can do your um, dab chingri. Sure. Does that sound like a plan? Uh, and if you do have any questions, we do have the iPad over here that we're going to try and keep an eye on, not melt next to the uh, frying pans. If you have any questions, let us know. Are you going to be celebrating Diwali in any way? And what are you cooking, if yeah, you are? are. Cooking? Yeah, if let us know. Let us know your favourite Indian dish. Because when we were going through everything, there was so many, well, all the sweets were well, amazing. It seems, and yeah. It's just, it's it's really cool. Although I can't do spicy. Um, oh, so you can do like, spices, you can't do spicy. I can do spices, I can't do spicy. Yep. Uh, so yeah, it'd be, well, in, yeah. it'd be interesting to see... Um, it's, it's, there's doing? a lot of sweets. Um, and there we're not, are yeah, a lot of that's sweets. A lot of, a lot of Diwali is about the sweets and the celebration. Yeah, because it's um, like Christmas time essentially. It is, it is or, actually or the Or biggest. a celebration full stop. Yeah. So yeah, where biggest. we would make fudge and yeah. coconut ice, this is, yeah. Not different. It's the biggest gift giving part mm. of the year. Um, and it's, a, it's actually it's one of the biggest um, Hindu festivals, which is, which is good. And, there's, and uh, even places like Fiji. It's huge in Fiji and it's actually yeah. a public holiday. Yeah. Uh, although Fiji had their I think Fiji day last week, so I think they yeah. get another day. I'm not sure. Maybe they're yeah. rolling to one. Because it's we'll tomorrow, out. technically, isn't tomorrow, it? Tomorrow, Thursday the nineteenth. Thursday the nineteenth. So nineteenth of October. Yeah, October is when it is. Nice. Right, so what so. we're going to do is I'm going to make up some uh, masala tea, which will hopefully be nicer than uh, than the one I had at the Taj Mahal. Don't well, you're not going to put goes. sugar in it, are yeah, you? Yeah, we can sugar it afterwards. I think yeah. they just sugar it sugar for everybody. Sugar to taste. Yeah. So we've got 250 mils of water. 350. 350. Yeah, thanks. We've got the chef here. I just like my stuff. I'm huh? not a chef. Not wrong. Well, but it was 350 mils of 350 water. 350 mils of water and 100 mils of milk. Was it? Yeah. I didn't see how. Yeah. Some milk. Some milk. 100 mils of milk. And now, I was saying to Ben that if you didn't want to use milk and you really like coconut milk, you could actually add coconut milk just to give it a different flavour. Yeah, it change the Different flavour. Yeah, but, but most of it's made with milk. Uh, so what we want to add there is 10 lightly crushed cardamom pods. Um, so I've just grabbed a use of mortar and pestle over okay. there and just quickly um, bash it. them, just lightly bash them. So they're going to go in there. So there's 10 of those, uh, or 11 or 12 or something. I'm just keeping on those comments. Some. 10, yep. Uh, also cinnamon sticks. So put in some cinnamon sticks. Uh, I, I like cinnamon um, and a lot of the chai type masala teas that I've had have been heavily cinnamon so I've gone for a certain amount just flavor some. taste basically <laughs> again some cinnamon mm. sticks 
so I just crushed up a little bit. Uh, a pinch of fennel seeds. So yeah. Oh, I love the flavour of fennel. When I, when I was in um, India, they uh, had at one of the hotels fennel water. So it was oh. little shot glasses of fennel. Everyone said, don't drink the water. So what do I do when I first go to the hotel? First drink thing on offer for breakfast is fennel water. Let's do that, Ben. <laughs> um, survived the rest of the trip. Uh, I, I think the whole don't drink the water thing is overrated, to be honest, because but that, I survived it as well. Well, you were in a hotel. Yeah, I was in a hotel, but even so, well. they say don't drink the water. Uh, so a pinch of fennel seeds is going in with my uh, water there. Now we've got a tablespoon, oh, say, sorry, teaspoon of, of ginger. Ground ginger. Ground ginger. Mm. Let's go in it. Smash. Yum. Mm, so nice. And this, this, is a, this is a, for someone who just likes to eat, this is a weird one. It's very specific for black peppercorns. Just four. That's all you want. Just four. four. Just four. So, and no they're more, not, they're not, no less. If you put five in, you're going to wreck yeah, the whole recipe. Gonna, yeah, it's going to, yeah. It'll be, be terrible. Kaput. I don't know. Four black peppercorns. So that's what the recipe calls for. So that's going to go in there. Nice. Uh, and then what we're going to do is that I am going to basically bring that to a boil on the stove over there. Take, take well, just off the boil. Take about 15 minutes, uh, but it's already, well, it's already smelling really nice. Oh, yum. Wow. Well, okay. you can smell the ginger, but I guess that's because it was ground. Ooh. But yeah. Yum. Mrs. Rogers' ground ginger is the best yeah, so to die. Well, we Mrs. Rogers that's, everything, but the ginger is particular. That's a masala chai that I brought back with me um, from India. So I've had that as well. We've got the, the tea things um, along with a little wooden elephant. So I'm going to go over there and, and cook I will this up. Start and then I'll keep an eye on my the things and you can start your thing. Sure. Go for it. Okay. So, uh, first of all... What I want to do is I've got two tablespoons of yellow mustard seeds. Now the recipe did say black mustard seeds. I grabbed yellow and I just kind of thought it might be prettier. Uh, may not be. So I want to pop that in there and a little bit of water. Now I'm using one of those bullet type machines uh, because I want to grind this up as much as I can. So I'm very sorry, bear with me. Turn your sound down now. Now, as you can see, it's starting to break them up quite nicely, which is good. I was a little bit worried it wouldn't. I'm just going to add a little fraction more water because uh, with this, oh, that's really smelly. Smelly in a good it's smell. Oh yeah, like in a good like. Um, Sorry. It's like. Try it. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's really smelly. So, what's, so, what's everyone's favourite Indian meal? I think oh. we've asked this question before. Butter um, chicken's mine, and it probably isn't very Indian of me, but that's because I can't do spicy. Hang on, I've got to go one more time. <laughs> that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. When I was, um, when I was over there, uh, one of the things that was difficult was actually finding, to, knowing what to eat. So yeah. I wanted to try all of these different foods, but when you looked at a menu in a restaurant... Um, it doesn't have one, two, three, no, is it? exactly the right. name. It, it, it's the, the name that it was. So I ended up yeah. just asking the chef just for any food or the... I um, was in one food, um, food court, and I just said, uh, what that lady's having? And then something completely different came out anyway, <laughs> so... It is what it is. Oh, well. Now, I have got about four tablespoons of oil, which I'm going to put into my fry pan. And I've got one finely diced uh, onion, just a normal white onion. And I'm just wanting to cook that through. Gigi says that she's all up for butter chicken because that's what the kids eat. Yeah, I love yeah. butter chicken. Yep. Yeah. The kids the kids do too. We make it. Yeah. yeah. So you, I... Gigi. I am just literally cooking this until it's browned, gone see-through and sautéed. Now, I'll tell you just why that's cooking. This, this recipe re requires 250 mils of coconut milk and 250 mils of coconut meat, it's called. Now, I was stumped, so I literally went and bought a whole coconut, dug the coconut out, and blended the milk using this little guy, it took me a little while, but blended the milk and the uh, oh, coconut bits together. And what forms is a paste. So if you've got, um, 
I'm gonna have that much. So you keep talking. If you, if you've, I want to see your reaction. <laughs> Oh, nice. So this is how it gets mm -hmm. thick because there's actually no added flour or corn flour or thickener. Uh, so the, the beauty of this is, is it, it's very low gluten, if not gluten free, I hate to say it. <laughs> so don't need a whole plate of that. <laughs> well, you do love coconut. Mm. So. Uh, but anyway, the, the, so you can use your blender, your magic bullet, but it has to be blended up into, you know, a nice thick paste that will basically thicken the entire dish. So I am just still doing this on a medium heat with my oil. Now if you were doing a, um, a one of the fancy sort of diets that requires a low carb, low carb coming or, in the summer people might be slimming yeah, down, getting yeah. rid of the, the winter gut. So you could absolutely cook this as well because it's basically protein and well coconut has quite a lot of fat mm. in it but it's good fat yep. so uh, you might just need to switch out your vegetable oil for a, another like a oil or that's or a, yeah like a ghee or yep. or um or so even if a butter you're doing the low carb no carb thing then get rid of the rice that will yeah obviously you don't want to add rice but you could absolutely sort of well, you could have a pile of spinach or you could make some of those zucchini spirally things. I know it's completely not Indian to do that, but hey, we don't even know if we're doing it right. No, no idea. So give it a go, guys. Let us know. It's tasted well in the past, good in the past, so we're going to go with it. That's cooking though, isn't it? About experimentation. Oh, absolutely. I, I really don't think, it's a bit like art. There's really no right or wrong. No, as long as it tastes good. As long as it tastes good and, and you're not causing yourself to any carcinogenics or you know things like that it's all about cooking i made cupcakes with the kids the other day and that was all about cooking too because they got to eat the batter and all of that sort of thing and stir the measurements for the older kids and, and there wasn't too much snot in the uh in the baking as well so no that's there, always a good there's thing. never any snot in my baking Ooh, horrible. although we're not eating it at the moment anyway we're trying to be good because summer's coming believe it or not summer is Getting there. So has anyone in Auckland been down to the, or if they're doing it in other centres as well, been down to the Diwali Festival? Um, it gets, I think it gets busier and busier every year. It's like the lights in, um, in Franklin Street. I mean, that's been going on for years oh, and years, but yeah. uh, Diwali in Auckland seems to get large every well, it, single it, year. We've made it down this year. But, it, it's yeah. pretty cool that it, you know, hmm. that New Zealand seems to celebrate quite a lot yeah, of different ethnicities. Yep. Good. Good it, keep, it keeps us well. Yeah. It does. It teaches so, us new things. A couple, of, a couple more people uh, joining us on the live. So do pop down, um, let us know your favourite uh, Indian recipe. So we're, we're doing at the moment, we're doing some uh, Dab Chingri, which is a, I think it's a Bengali recipe. We're doing our version of it. And also making a Indian masala chai. I was saying before that the masala chai that I had in India actually wasn't that good when I had it. It was oversweet. It was like, oversweet. It was, over -sweet. It was like having yeah. a, a masala chai with about four or five teaspoons of sugar in a little thing. Um, but at 5.30 in the morning I probably needed it. So well, I'm over here doing a masala chai, uh, which has a whole lot of yummy stuff in it. And then and I'm going to use my fancy pour thing here, which you'll be very impressed of. Because I like my, my, like my gadgets. Actually, this, a little bit cheeky. Um, this was actually a Mother's Day present. Yeah. Um, I, uh, that I've requisitioned. Is that yeah. what the word is? I've snicked it because I yeah. like the tea. Yeah. And I just like black tea. Although I do like chai tea, so I might nick it back for that. Okay. So my onion is um, just starting to get a little bit see through, and there's a few slightly browner bits, which is great. So now I'm going to pop in the essentially mustard seed paste. Actually, you know one of the things I really I don't like it when you have a chai is the there's a sweet chai and a spicy chai. Yeah. I really don't like the sweet chai. If you go to you know like a, a coffee house and they have that sweet syrup, stuff, which is basically syrup. Yeah. It's it's well, it is a syrup. Yeah. So it's horrible. Um, so, and plus, if, I mean, if you can make your own chai at home, then uh, when people are around, you look cool. Let me just whip you up some chai. And, and you can control it. it. So yeah, if if fun. if you like more. You know, if, if you like more ginger or whatever. So I am just sautéing that paste. Now I'm also popping in a teaspoon of turmeric, if it pops. And
and I'm just going to, because as I said, I'm not keen on hot, so I'm just going to put about half a teaspoon of chili flakes. Now I just want to saute that for a few minutes and let the aromas. So normally we'd have um, a roving camera going, but there's only the two of us here today, so in the kitchen, so you're just going to have to imagine what it looks like. Mm. It looks really good. Um, Hang on, look. Oh, there we go. There you go. Fantastic. Before it slides down with the amount of oil. Yeah. The um, turmeric is very, very popular at the moment. Uh, yeah. There's been some uh, research out of the States which uh, has shown it as being one of the most popular health foods uh, which has been written about on social media at the moment. So if you are into turmeric, um, then you're on to a, a good thing. A good thing. And we're going to do a bit of a turmeric week next week, well, we aren't we? We might. thought we, we thought, might. Yeah, we thought next With week we With a few different might do, recipes, not yeah. just chuck some turmeric in your rice. No, some real special stuff. Mm. So keep an eye out for next week. So we're going to be yep. all turmeric all week, unless there's something else we do, but... Mainly turmeric. Mainly turmeric. So, and you said there was something that was found with turmeric. Emma says she likes spicy Indian food. Oh. oh do you, Emma? Good on you. Good on you. Well done. Add more chilli. Yeah. yeah. yeah actually, Up to your chilli, friends. Add the chilli. Yep, exactly right. So, um, yeah, you said, going back to the turmeric, there's something to do with the fact you've got to pair it with oil that helps the body absorb it better? Yeah, so the, 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 key, the key to this, this particular study which came out, um, and keeping in mind it's just one study of however many, uh, is that when you take curcumin, which is the active ingredient in turmeric which causes the health benefits, or it helps with the Causes health the health benefits. Cause, cause, which helps with health. I mm. um, can tell I'm a doctor or something. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, is that the, the curcumin, when it's in its... Um, what, what Westerners do is that we take the good stuff out and then give it to you in like a concentrated form. Or a pill. That that's a pill or whatever, exactly or, right. Yeah. And you think that that's the good, the good way of doing it. Whereas the studies have shown that turmeric, when it's taken like that, a barely a blip on the radar. Uh, turmeric, when it's... Um, uh, whereas when it's used in cooking and specifically paired with oils, is that that's when the, the, the benefits of the turmeric come out. So, mm. again, this is just one study of many, and I'm sure there's other studies to counter that, but that's the most but recent But it would make I sense. I mean... We, that's from the cooking. That's, that's yeah, the it's from the cooking. Obviously, yeah. we've used oil and we've warmed it through, etc. So, but anyway, hey, I'm just going to pop in some salt using Mrs. Rogers Himalayan salt. And the beauty of these uh, medium grinders is that you can grind it into the lid, as you probably just saw me doing. And... I don't over salt it that way because I do tend to just kind of grind over my food and put the rest of it back in for use later. So about a teaspoon of salt in there. I made some pork crackling the other night and I over salted, didn't I? Oh yeah. I did. I liked it, but apparently it was I too salty. It. Mm. No, but it's but got to be salty on to the top the to draw the moisture out. But your salt fell down the sides to so the edges of it inside of them. Yeah. It was fine. Anyway. So I am very excitingly going to chuck this in now. Oh, that looks so good. You know, um, because the coconut had a little bit of the husk, uh, not the husk, but the, the brown the brown stuff on the inside, it's actually made the, um, the sauce look really interesting, as opposed to just white sauce. It looks like it's got some sort of herb. And it's really high in fibre, so, you know, keep your regular and everything. So... Masala tea it's is nearly ready. There. It's nearly there. It's getting there. So now, guys, if you have um, for this recipe, you need about 350 grams of prawns. If you have green prawns, once you've stirred all this through, uh, you'd want to reduce it to a, a just a lower heat and keep cooking for four to five minutes, just until it's cooked through the prawns but unfortunately I had trouble finding green prawns today and so I've got cooked prawns which doesn't really matter it just means I'm going to leave it a, no, I'm not going to cook them as long no you cannot really nice. no you're not eating it so I'm just going to I'm actually going to put the lid on that I'm just going to reduce it a bit and um, and just let those flavors simmer through it's very good. Yes. Yeah. So if you're joining us again, we're just doing some quick, easy recipes for Diwali. Diwali seems to have been more focused on sweets 
Yeah. Uh, but um, we but we're not doing a, sweets. We're not doing sweets. We're trying we're to try, be good. Trying to be good coming into, uh, into summer. summer. <laughs> so we thought, what can we eat uh, this week uh, before we change our mind about what we're doing next week? Yeah, see how you go. Yeah. And it is um, uh, Dab Chingri, or yeah. our variation of Dab Chingri, which and is from the Bengali region. And our kids would like it because it's like dabbing. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, yeah Dab Chingri. <laughs> That is that the, the Kiwi version, a bit of dab, dab chingri? Yeah. Here you go, mate. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to going sprinkle in. my prawns in. Oh, yeah. Looks really nice. Yeah, you'd think it'd look really nice. It's a pretty colour. Oh, oh, this is looking good. That's just coming to the boil. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm just going to... So do people, do you make, do you make, if you're going to make an Indian meal, do you make it at home? Do you like getting takeout Indian? Uh, and buy like those pre-packeted, pre-packeted things spice or? collected things where you feel like you're cooking, but it's just yeah. all pre-done for no. you. Or you could do it like this and actually look like some sort of guru and god in the kitchen when you get out all your spices and everything. Yeah. I think the, 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 the difference here is that we get the freshness of the spices. Yeah, so exactly. When you, when you make it yourself, I mean, you've got the freshness of the spice. And spice. you can control it. Yeah. Like, I can never eat the stuff from, you know, a supermarket or whatever, unless it's butter chicken, because yeah. it's just all too hot for me. I just, yeah. I hate the fact I can't do spicy, but down player, I just, I can't do spicy. So I like to cook myself. God, that smells good. Does it smell yummy? Yeah, I'm going to make it now. Okay, because I'm nearly ready. I'm just getting this up. is just right, coming up. Right coming. Oh, sorry everybody, that was a bit loud. So I am just warming my prawns through because I don't want tough prawns and they were pre-cooked. That doesn't really matter. Well, that smells like chai sugar. Like. I'll it's just leave nice. that for oh, another I'm minute. Nothing behind you. I'm probably going to pour this everywhere. Would you like me to do it? Yeah, go on then. I'll, I'll probably pour it everywhere too, but... You sounded confident. That's all right. Then we go. Um, so what you want to do is get it all into um, a, uh, in, into basically somewhere to steep for a minute or so, and then we're going to add a basically a, a tea black bag of tea. black tea. Now this fancy pants thing that I've got here will it will actually strain it, and you'll see that in a minute. So normally, if you were doing this, you just leave the tea in the tea bag and then put the tea bag mm. in the uh, in, in the mixture and let it sit for a minute. But and just like one, use use a sieve or yeah, exactly you know right. sort of. So we're going to chuck the black tea in there. Yeah. I'll just give that a little bit of a mix around. <gasps> don't wreck it! Don't wreck it! I'm not going to wreck it. It's, okay. It looks lovely. Yep. So the black tea's got, and that just gives it another sort of, I guess, another element of the flavour. But that looks and smells glorious. I'm okay. Let that sit for a minute. So why your tea uh, is sitting? Now I um, actually went to Kmart and found these really cute dinky dye things. So we've got some rice that we're going to serve with this. They look really cool. I think they were a couple of bucks, weren't they? Yeah, they were like two dollars or something. Yeah. yeah. So, so I've, again, I've you also can, got. You can have a million meal at home and even look authentic with your um, two dollar Kmart uh, bowls. So now I want to put some of this in. This is really yummy and pretty. Oh, that looks so now the trick is to pull a couple of prawns out and put yeah, it on the top as well. So I've got that. And then I thought I'd try and be a little bit special. Oh, what have you done? Well, oh, here's one I prepared earlier. I managed to I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my not, uh, not coconut, not crack my <laughs> coconut <laughs> shell. Smells yummy. And okay. I thought yeah. I could serve it in a little coconut. <laughs> That's very clever. That's like Kiwi ingenuity there. Yeah, number eight wire. Don't throw away your coconut shell. Put it in. So. Look at that. Now, if I had more rice, I'd put some rice around there, but. but you don't. I don't. Right, well, I'm going to make But my... what I do have is, I just thought it would look quite pretty. Just with some cucumber. With a little bit of a fan of well done. cucumber. You didn't do one of those special spiral ones. No, I'm not that clever. Not that clever. Okay. And so look at this, I've got my tea thing. Hang on, let's, because this is pretty cool. So this is pretty cool. you got your tea, and then we pop that on the top, and boom, drains it through. Look at that. It's look just like a bought one. Look at that. So it's coming look at that. through and getting, oh, see the darkness coming through, because it's straining through all of my good stuff. We need a little bit of a mix. I was going to say, give it, give it a... I give it a little bit of a mix up. The bottom. Just because it's so chunky. So chunky, exactly right. Let's get that moving. Come on, chai tea, masala tea. Now this is looking... Do you need to push a button again? No, it uses gravity apparently. Oh. 
I think this is because it's, it's the chunkiest version of the tea that I've done. But we're almost there, we're almost there. We'll do a little bit more. And then when you put it back on the thingamabob, it stops. So there you go. There is my masala tea, authentic nice. masala tea. And I reckon it's going to be better than the one I had at the Taj Mahal. It most but, certainly is. But, we're going to have to share a cup. It's really, really nice. Well done, yeah. And it, it, like, mm, you don't have the sweetness. Nice. Um, if you wanted to, you can put honey in it. So yep. I recommend put honey in it. Honey. Um, but that is authentically beautiful. Well done. Should we just show? Well, it? we'll see if we can get this on the camera a little bit closer. Well, um, I just so thought I'd eat it. <laughs> we'll, we'll just see if people can see that. I'm going to walk over here, and there we go. It's a little bit oh, dark. It's pretty. But it's pretty. That is our dub. Chink. Well, you can talk more. It's our dab chingri, chingri. Uh, with prawns. I'm actually going to try some. Let me try some. I'll make sure it's not too hot. So, celebrate Diwali. Oh. Is it really good? It's really good. <laughs> I want to try some now. Get a prawn on the top. Oh, yum. That's better than I thought. Oh, that's really good. Holy crap. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> the internet, you can say crap. True. <laughs> wow. That's really nice. Yeah. If you don't like coconut, you're not going to like it, but it is really nice. <coughs> it's really, really good. And what a good thing to oh, have. The chili's coming through. What a good thing to have, you well, know, if you do have gluten-free friends or whatever, because they'd eat that. They'd eat that, smash that back. Yeah. That's really nice. And it's, and it's thickened, essentially, just with coconut meat. Mm. So, anyway, guys... Enjoy Diwali, celebrate it yep. tomorrow. Um, go down to the Festival of Lights. We're going to celebrate it today by eating this. We're going to have this, this. for lunch. Yeah, from early well, dinner. from dinner. Early dinner, late Something. lunch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have a fant- I'm going to sneak around the back. You can say goodbye. Sure. And we'll be back with another live later well, on. Thanks, everyone. So we're going to put the recipe up uh, as soon as we've finished eating this. And, yeah. So, see ya. Bye.